Hello, this is a joyful psalm, and today we're talking about Psalm 19. The precepts of the Lord bring joy to the heart. Have you ever found it awkward to see yourself in a picture, in a video, or even worse, like to hear yourself in a recording, maybe singing, maybe just speaking? Like if you set your voicemail and it's, you know, you record it and then it says, do you approve? Press one. To re-record, press two. And you press two like 15 times because you can't stand how your own recording sounds. That's sort of the, the readings um, this weekend and the psalm response. Recognizing ourselves and recognizing the faults of ourselves. One thing that I find fascinating is the training of pilots. Pilots are trained to do so many things. They're trained in mathematics and physics and aerospace. And this is important because they've got to use all kinds of different instruments, daytime instruments, nighttime instruments, because they're just responsible for so many people. And one of the dangers for pilots is something called spatial disorientation. And what this is, is when you lose visibility while you're flying, you know, you sometimes don't know whether you're level or not. So if you're in a complete fog or it's pitch black out, a lot of times your brain can be fooled into thinking that you're level when really you're not. And you can try this at home. If you sit in an office chair and start spinning very smoothly around in a circle and you close your eyes, in a few seconds you might feel like you're not even moving at all, when in reality you are moving. And so this was the case, unfortunately, for um, the accidents of, let's say, John F. Kennedy Jr. He was not trained on nighttime instruments, and so he took off the plane at like dusk. It was much too late, and then it got dark, and he thought he was level, when in reality he was almost completely upside down, and his plane went into the water. This also happened in the case of Kobe Bryant, when his pilot of a helicopter was in a complete fog, and he was just feet away from sunshine, but um, he just, he lost his center of gravity. Um, this spatial disorientation came over him and the aircraft went down. This is very similar to the spiritual life. We as Catholics are constantly examining our conscience and we have the sacrament of confession to combat this spiritual disorientation. And so this weekend we sing in Psalm 19, Cleanse me, Lord, of my unknown faults, of those faults that I'm, I'm not even aware of, that I thought my spiritual plane was level, but in reality, it, it hasn't been for a long time, maybe years. And so we, we pray that the Lord will cleanse us of unknown thoughts so that we can avoid Gehenna, as Jesus describes today in the gospel reading. He says this, If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And he's speaking parabolically, but still, it's graphic language he's using. The consequences are dire. And the unknown faults are the ones that sometimes we have to sift through to find. So the church gives us a vehicle to do this in the sacraments. And we just have to stay close to Mother Church in the Holy Scriptures, in the sacraments, and in the teaching of the church. And these three things become our pathway to joy. The precepts of the Lord bring joy to the heart. This is Psalm 19. Refreshing the soul, the decree of the Lord is true, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the The fear 
of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart, give joy to the heart. Though your servant is careful of them, very diligent in keeping them, yet who can detect failings? Cleanse me from unknown thoughts. The precepts of the sin, restrain your servant, let it not rule over me, then shall I be blameless and innocent of serious sin. The precepts of